I'm Doth Savick and this is the Grip AX4, brand new release from Grip. This bag is just a touch heavier than the AX15 that I'd weighed. That AX15 was 1.75 kilos, the AX4 is 1.98, and that's without the Rainfly on this. The Rainfly no longer comes with the full size Grip bag. Adding the Rainfly in, that's a little heavier, 2.1 kilos. Basically, the weight of this new one being a little bit heavier pushes it just above the weight of the Pound Octothorpe. The Pound Octothorpe is now right between the older AX15 and the new AX4. All three are quite close in weight. Uh, this bag retails for $239. Again, that's without the Rainfly. If you want the Rainfly, it's additional $18. Bucks. I went ahead and bought it. I've got it in this bag to show you today. One of the biggest improvements that they've made, and there are quite a few things that I really like about this bag. I'm excited about it. Uh, the, the biggest one is the comfort of this bag, and they've done a couple things to make it more comfortable. The first is the backpack straps. They've totally redesigned the straps on here, and there's uh, some little manufacturing defect with mine. You can see that this strap is twisted differently than this one and I think that that was an assembly problem uh, somehow either the fabric or the foam inside got a little bit twisted um, it's not very nice looking that way but when I put it on you know of course I can't tell the difference at all um, the new straps have different curvature to them they just they feel quite a bit more ergonomic compared with the older ones they have uh, still secured them in the same way, and, and this is one of the things that really sets Grip apart from some of the cheaper bags that I've been reviewing recently. You can see that that backpack strap uh, attachment point comes down underneath this thick piece of webbing, and then they've cross-stitched it in here. That's, that's secured so well. There's so much more surface area that they're stitching into. A lot of these other bags have just like one stitching point straight across and you're, you're way more likely to tear your straps if that's the case. So, um, you know, grips kept with that and done a really good job attaching these straps. This fabric is new on the back here, both on the bottom of the straps and on the back padding. It is a much softer fabric than what was on the older version. You can see this is a much, you know, thicker opening on there. You can tell it just looks different. I think that this is more durable on the older version but it's it's not as comfortable you know one of the complaints i had on the old straps was all these uh, stitching points across for their you know kind of molly style uh, webbing and now it's crunching the foam within the strap and they've gone away from that uh, there's only a, a couple attachment points where the sewing comes through and that's so low that it's not on your shoulder you know that whole section of the strap that's going to be sitting on your shoulder is free from that stitching so that foam's not getting compressed all the way all the way across there the downside of that super nice soft fabric is that it's a little bit slicker um, especially you know wearing a shirt like this that straps a little more likely to just want to zip off of my shoulder um, so it's not quite as sticky in that way and this type of fabric pills a lot easier i don't know how well it's going to show up but even after uh, and i've have been carrying this bag through some rough rounds yeah you can start to see just a little bit of fuzzies poking off poking off the edge there and and then you can also tell a couple points on the pad down here um, where you see those little irregularities that's where something has just kind of caught the fabric and started pulling on it slightly so it's not going to look as pretty for as long uh, but it is it is more comfortable the straps are great this brings it a chunk closer in comfort to the pound octothorpe the next thing and, and maybe even better than the straps that they did on this bag was they fixed that issue that i had with the that hard panel that comes down the back and that rigid point right down here, which just drove me nuts. It was one of the things that really made this bag uncomfortable is it was on the other version straight across here. And I just feel that hard plastic digging into my lower back. That's what I would feel instead of this pad. Well, they took that piece and cut it on a curve, which you can, you can see there. Um, so that spot being cut out means that now when I put the bag on, 
it is, it's got more of that kind of hug feeling. I'm feeling that pad on my lower back. It is so much more comfortable. It is still a hard backed bag, so it's not wrapping like the Pound Octothorpe does, and that's what continues to separate the Octothorpe from the grips is that, that soft back. But this is so huge. That cut they made right there, like I'm not kidding you, that made me so excited to see that they've made that change. And I'll just show it to you real quick on, on the other bag. This is how it existed before. That piece was just straight across there. You can see it poking out. Um, and this is, the, this is the smaller bag. This is the old CS. I don't have that full size AX15 anymore. I, I sold that to a friend. Um, but you know, a lot of the features I can still show you on, on that smaller size bag. Another big change that they made was they changed the zipper location for the storage in the lumbar here. That, that was a short zipper right across the bottom and, and that made it kind of an awkward pocket to get into. I mean, granted, I think most people were just storing the rain fly in there. So it's not something you're in and out of a whole bunch, but you did have to kind of tip the bag over to get inside there. They took that zipper off the bottom and they, they moved it to across the top. So, and they, and they made the zipper a lot longer. So now you have like legit entry into a pocket and there is a rain fly in there. But with that access, you don't have to tip the bag over anymore and you could easily use it for other things. Granted, you gotta keep in mind, whatever the shape of stuff is that you put in there is gonna change how this pad feels on your back. So you're not gonna wanna probably throw like a wallet or something a little bit bulky like that. Uh, the rain the rain fly is just, just perfect to keep set nice and uniform. Besides this uh, backpack strap being kind of twisty, that's one of the first things that caught my eye when I opened this bag up. The other was that the bag was just kind of a little bit uh, squeezed and, and collapsed in on itself. You know, granted I got discs in here now holding it open, but I thought that was a really weird look. I can't remember ever seeing a grip bag like that before. Um, so when I started first putting discs in here, it was hard to like spread the bag open. And so it made it seem like I'd lost room and it's taken some time to try to get that to open back up. And what I finally did was ended up pulling the divider out of the side, the rigid sidewall. This is actually the one out of this, uh, this older style Grip CS right here. Uh, but that's what those rigid pieces look like. And I found that on the new bag, they've changed, they've changed this plastic. Let me just pull one out really fast and show you. It does make the bag feel a little bit smaller. Okay, so the part that I'm really talking about is how curved you see this down here. That ability for this plastic to kind of want to curl up like that is making the whole bag squeeze in on the discs. So if I stack enough in there, it does start to straighten that panel out. But this, this plastic that they're using, you can see how that's a nice smooth reflective surface compared to what they had used I don't know if you can get that. This kind of looks like styrofoam uh, because of the texture. There, you can see the reflection on it now. It's this textured piece of plastic and it does not want to curl and wrap up like, like this stuff does. This is so much more happy to curl and it's just a little bit, a little bit funky. I actually put them in backwards for a couple days to see if that would kind of get them flexing the other direction and it just really didn't didn't make a difference so i've got them back in their their original spots right now bear with me while i jam this back in here and we'll move on so you may have to you may have to go through a little bit of a break-in period to fit all of the discs you know i if you're going from an old style AX to this new AX4, it, it might fit a couple discs less than you're used to in the main compartment here. And you're gonna have to stretch it out. Um, I have, I think 17 in here, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, 17 in the bottom. And you can see I have a little bit of wiggle room. That amount of play is 
my, kind of my ideal, right? But if I get in here and push, you can see that starting to open up and I've got room for another four or five discs in there. But the way that those panels are squishing, it's just gonna like, it's gonna remain tight. Um, so it really takes some time to, to stretch them out and, and get them to stay, uh, to stay pushed out. Uh, I missed on the straps talking about the haul loop. It's the same design that they've used before. That little cutout at the top of the backpack straps. There's actually, it's slightly tighter than it was on the older version. I didn't love the old one. Um, you know, I don't, I don't love this one either. I like a, you know, the higher loop that's on the, on the Octothorpe, but it, it, it does its job. The, the next new th biggest thing on here is the redesign for the putter pocket. They took out the old uh, double zipper across and added this single curved zipper, which is a, a much larger zipper. I don't know that anybody zips that a whole lot, so the durability of the smaller zippers I didn't really see as an issue. But this large zipper certainly seems like it'll last a long time. On the bottom of that flap, they do have a section of Velcro. So when you put that in, it will it will stick down. It velcros itself to the back wall of that pocket. That is the uh, identical quiver pocket that exists on the other bags. So you can reach inside, pull the drawstring if you want your putters to sit higher or lower than before. It is a little bit funky that you've got this new lip in here, that zipper for your discs to catch on. However, that is the right way to put your putters in for the lip to be potentially dragging on that zipper. Those discs now in this new style pocket, they want to sit on an angle like this uh, and that makes them disappear a little bit. It feels like you can't get quite as many putters in there as you could in your old style putter pocket, which you know just gets really stretched out over time and this zipper was folding under here. So those are the kind of things that they're getting away from. Uh, granted, this is a single zipper opening and the AX15 had the double zipper, so that's not a, a straight over comparison. They also changed, somebody was making comments on the pocket being this, uh, valuables pocket being smaller and it's not. It's, it feels like the exact same size pocket. The difference is that the zipper is moved. On the old style AX15, AX3, and on this CS, the, the larger panel was below the zipper and the small panel was on top and they've changed that. Now the large panel's on top. So that means the zippers come down, which means the zipper is closer to the bottom of that pocket. So if I take my phone and slide it in to touch the bottom of the pocket, my phone now pokes out. Compared with going here, my phone will actually fit all the way inside. So it really changes the way that the pocket feels. I have a little bit more trouble g getting in there, um, trying to you know pry the pocket open, especially if I have more than three putters and up in the top. I was carrying four putters up there and then I went down to three and I've actually only got two in there right now because uh, I made room for a couple extra of my throwing putters down in the main pocket. And going down in how many putters I have in the top does make it easier for me to press this open and get inside. Another thing that makes this pocket feel different is the two, the, the two valuables or the two pockets that are stitched inside the main valuable pocket. You can see I've got some gum hanging in that one, and, and here's the other one here. Now what's new is that these are, like if the back wall is flat, um, the old pockets were also sewn flat. The new pockets, there's extra fabric and they're cupped out like, and that's different from the old ones, which you can see are sewn, full, sewn flat. They don't hang away. They don't hang away from the wall. 
I preferred that older style because I could drop keys in there and they'd kind of get hugged to the back wall. And then that leaves me the main section to like drop my wallet, drop my phone, other stuff like that in there. And as it is now, you know, when I drop my keys or like I've got the gum in here, that pocket's hanging out. And when I try to slide my phone in, I'm just hitting stuff that's already in that pocket. It's a little weird. I don't, uh, I don't love it. You know, if you've worried that you got a taller phone, the, you, you still have the room up here to poke it up. You're just gonna have to like navigate it under that zipper and, and then back up. I'm not sure why they made that change. It probably has something to do with aesthetics and trying to manage uh, their new design putter pocket on top here. I'm, it's not a deal breaker for me. I'll easily take that with the uh, added comfort of the other changes on this bag. We've retained pencil pockets. Um, I really like how they, the style and positioning of these. It's really easy to grab these pencils um, up, in, up in that area. Of course, the uh, another really exciting change that they put on here is this added umbrella holder slash stool holder, which folds and Velcros in place. There's two little Velcro points. And with those out, then, then it unfolds to even larger. And it does fit a stool well. I've got one right here to show you. This is a, a, a large stool. It's not one of the super tiny ones by any means. And fitting the three legs in the opening is, is just a little bit tight. And it does push on kind of water bottle and the other stuff that I have in here but then the stool sits up at that height. It's not like a really quick job to get it in and out. So I like I only carried that for one day in a tournament I played this weekend and it only went into that sleeve twice dur during the round. You know, if I'm on a was doing a longer hike, then it was going in there. Otherwise it's staying in my hand. But I think that's you know, that's not unusual for different bags that have, you know, stool storage down across the front or whatever. You're not strapping it in there every hole, right? Uh, I didn't, I have poked an umbrella in there just for, you know, just for fun. And it seems great. They've got that little elastic across the top so you can, you know, pull it tight so your umbrella is not, you know, wobbling around any more than it needs to. You can see I also did have a carabiner hanging there because we've lost, we've lost the D-rings which was a nice little touch that they had D-ring sewn on the corners of that older style. Those are gone. They don't have D-rings up there anymore. They also did have the D-rings on the backpack straps down here and, and those are also gone. We've also lost Along with that, like I'm glad we lost the stitching up here higher, but we don't have as many spots to put this new sternum strap. I would like this lower. Uh, a couple times I thought, man, I really want this down lower. But that next piece down has extra fabric in there and it makes it super hard to get that in place. I tried and failed and then uh, just got kind of frustrated with it and gave up. So that's, I don't know, minor gripe. I guess I just need to suck it up and, and make it happen. I think I could get it on there if I really tried hard enough. But it, uh, it's not as easy to move around as it was on this, on this older bag. You don't have as many options for where, for where that's going to go. They did change the water bottle spots on here and I, I didn't have an issue with the height of the others but you can see you can see the difference there that that seam is coming almost up to the top of my bottle and if I drop the same bottle in there you can see it's a it's a two inches or something lower maybe a little more insulation maybe it'll keep your drinks hotter or colder a, a little bit longer than the older style would. We've got the same pockets here. I've got minis on both sides. You know, it remains a great, awesome spot to put a mini. They changed these uh, little inner pencil pockets. 
which frustrated, really frustrated me. I played a wet round in the rain and I had the rain fly on and I had to keep digging for the pencil that was down here. That little sleeve that they sewed for that pencil pocket on the older bag, it was cut off. It was sewn on the bottom. And this one, it goes all the way down here. So the pencil disappears, which you could see is what would be difficult to get back out. I had to like fish, you know, try to scrape it up and, and pinch that thing to get it out. Um, that's pushed all the way down. Compared with the same pocket on the older style where they sewed it on the bottom. And that makes the pencil stop right there, still poking out. So you can see it even better with the, uh, if I grab a Sharpie here, that's bottoming out the stitching with the Sharpie. You can still see the cap and the, the seam under the cap. And then that pocket of Sharpie almost disappears. So if you were gonna keep a marker in there, this is a better, a better height. But if you wanna put a pencil in there, you're probably gonna lose it. Um, so you're less likely to carry pencils down here in the new one. You wanna keep them up in the top. So I've got this stack just out how I carry it for the tournament. I've actually just got a bunch of junk in here. I can show you that little pocket sewn on the inside. Again, how there's a bunch more fabric on this new on the new style that pocket will poke way out now you know, I could jam here's a little birdie bag kind of thing maybe that'll help show how much that pocket sticks out I'm not doing a very good job um, yeah there you go you can see how much the the fabric curves out and that was a much Actually, it is sewn similarly on the old one, but it's a much wider, it's a much wider pocket. You know what the difference is, is the height at which that's sewn. That's just a couple inches from the top. Yeah, that's what it is. This one's sewn so much lower. Like I got way more room with the birdie bag and everything in there. This looks a little funky because this is the side of the bag that I took that stiffener panel out of. Um, so what you feel like you've, I've lost room in that pocket. It is now smaller. It'll hold less stuff, but it also sits higher. And that was kind of an issue in that. If I had jammed like a full jacket or something inside there, then that's getting high enough. It started to obstruct that pocket. And I guess that is a little less likely to happen now that this pocket is, is up higher. I think that's about that's about it. That's most of the changes that I can think of. Overall, I'm super happy with the bag. One of my favorite things of the old one was how nice it was to use this valuables pocket, and that's gone down a little bit. This one's not quite as nice to work with because of changing that zipper height. But the bag is so much more comfortable. I'm a little concerned with the durability of this new kind of luxury super soft fabric here. But if it does hold up, then then this bag's really going to be great. The addition of this uh, stool slash umbrella holder on this side is is awesome. So, and it's cool that they've got the Vel the Velcro in. I went and bought tons of patches. I got po piles of patches now. Uh, you know. It's Kind of, kind of fun to have that option to stick stuff like that on there. I hope this helped answer uh, any questions you've got on the new AX4. If there's something I haven't covered that you're curious about, feel free to ask in the comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.